few months ago, I made a video about Google Gemini saying that it was completely fake and that something that good when it comes to like input through video to ChatGPT or other open a or other AIs is almost impossible or just really far away. I really couldn't believe it was real. And the funny thing is it ended up being not real. Like that specific demo was actually sped up and it was not real at all. So I was right about that. But just as I was using ChatGPT, which I always do, I realized that there is now an option for you to use the camera of your iPhone or your phone within the app to identify things. Now, I played around with it and I was completely blown out of my mind because again, I already looked into this and I really thought that something like that is not possible or at least not now, but it turns out not just is it possible, but it's actually better than the Google demo that they showed us before. And so what I'll do in this episode is I'm not going to explain how it works. I'm not even going to go over the details of it. All I want to do is I just want to share my screen, as you can see somewhere on the left or right here. And I just want to go over how this technology actually acts when you're using it. So I only used it like a few times, but I'm going to use it again with you now. And hopefully you can hear ChatGPT and also see how it works. But I can guarantee that you haven't seen anything like this for a long time, if ever. And we're going to go ahead and actually have few different items here with me that I'm going to be showing and I'm going to be seeing if ChatGPT can understand what these items are and I also have a paper with some questions and we're going to go over it. we're going to really try milk this out so let's go ahead and start can you identify the item I'm holding in my hand right now Sure, it looks like you're holding a ballpoint pen with a blue cap. Are you asking about something specific related to it? Uh, can you guess what color the ink is of this pen? Based on the blue cap, it's likely the ink is blue. Is that what you're expecting? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. It is definitely blue. Now, I have some questions. I want to show you some items and I want to see if you can identify that. Do you think that's possible? Sure, I'm happy to help. Go ahead and show me the next item. This is my next item. Can you tell me what they are? It looks like you're holding a pair of wireless earbuds in their charging case, possibly something like AirPods. Are you curious about any features or details about them? Yeah, can you tell me which company would have created these earbuds? Those earbuds look quite similar to Apple's AirPods Pro, but without any branding, it's hard to be certain. Are they indeed from Apple or another brand? Yeah, they are actually from Apple. Do you think you can tell me how many earbuds are currently in the case? From what I can see, it looks like there are two earbuds in the case. Are you checking if everything's in place or something else? I'm actually just testing you. Got it. It's always a good idea to check that both earbuds are there. Anything else you'd like to test or need help with? Yeah. What do you think this is? That looks like a keycap from a mechanical keyboard, possibly a custom one with a smiley face design. Are you planning to replace or customize some keys? Can you tell me which button I'm currently having my finger on, on the keyboard? Your finger looks like it's on the B key. Are you testing the keyboard layout or just curious about key positioning? Can you tell me who this person is by any chance? I can't identify people by their appearance. Is there something specific you need to know about them? That's okay. What about this watch? Can, what can you tell me about it? Which company would have created it? That watch looks like an Apple watch given its design and strap style. Are you curious about its features or how to use it? Uh, do you know what model this Apple watch is? From the design, it appears to be an Apple Watch Ultra given the larger case and rugged look. Are you interested in specific features or setup tips for this model? Okay, now I'm going to show you a bit of a harder thing. I've got a uh, uh, movie character sure. with me. Do you think you can guess what movie this character was from? That looks like a bobblehead figure of Rocket Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy series. Am I on the right track? <laughs> yeah, that's true. What makes you identify these objects? Like, how can you tell where this was from? I rely on general shape, color, and distinctive features to make educated guesses. Kind of like recognizing familiar patterns. Okay, now I have a math equation written on a piece of paper. Do you think you can identify it if I show it to you? Absolutely. Just hold it up to the camera and I'll take a look. Okay, do you think you can answer this question? Sure. The equation 1 plus 3 equals 4. 
Are you working on math problems or something specific? Okay, I have something else for you. I've got a painting here that I drew and I want you to tell, tell me what this painting resembles or what's included in it. Do you think you can do that? Sure, hold it up and I'll describe what I see in your drawing. What do you think it is? It looks like a drawing of two stick figures, possibly a taller person and a shorter one, along with a dog on a leash. Did I get it right? <laughs> yeah, you absolutely did. Now, a final question. Do you think you're able to solve this puzzle? Now, I've got this box over here. It's a wooden box and there is this sort of cylinder in it. And you're meant to remove the cylinder from this box without touching the box. Do you think you can find a solution? That's a tricky one. Usually puzzles like that involve some mechanism or gravity trick. Can you tilt or gently shake it to see if the cylinder dislodges? Yep, it simply does move when I move it, but you're not meant to touch this box. So it's meant to be stationary on the table and somehow you're meant to get this out of the box. Ah, got it. In that case, it might involve magnets or hidden levers. If there's a hidden mechanism, try applying light pressure or rotating the cylinder gently. Okay, if I show you how to do it, do you think you'll be able to know for next time? Absolutely. I'd love to see how it's done and we can figure it out together. Show me the trick. Sure. So all you need to do is actually blow into the box, which would create a pressure inside and blow the cylinder out like this. <sighs> there you go. That's clever. So do you, nice think, work. Yeah, you think you can answer this next time? If I show you this, would you be able to tell me the answer? Absolutely. I'll remember that blowing into the box can create air pressure to move the cylinder. Thanks for showing me the solution. Okay, now do you think you can identify facial expressions? For example, if I show you, if I show a specific expression, would you be able to identify it? I can describe general facial expressions like smiling or frowning. If you show me, I'll do my best to interpret it. So how would you interpret this expression? You look like you're smiling, which usually suggests happiness or amusement. Are you feeling good about something? <laughs> Very good, actually. Okay. How do you feel looking at an item like this? Does this show you concern? It looks like you're holding a pocket knife, which can be sharp. Please be careful with it. All right. Thank you. Now, I think you've done an amazing job, so I'm going to let you go. But thank you so much for identifying everything so easily and swiftly. You're very welcome. I'm always here if you need anything. Wow. Now, how insane was that? Now, I'm not too sure if you've watched the whole thing or not, but this was very cool for me, at least. Like, I did not expect it to be this good at all. I didn't think it was going to be this good at all. And here we are. It managed to identify everything so easily and so quickly. There was no questions asked. There was no uh, confusion at all. And the best thing is that if you go to ChatGPT now and you should be able to actually uh, go through your history and you should be able to basically read everything that happened between years. Now, it was able to identify the math questions. It couldn't answer the puzzle, but it was able to, after I showed it how to do it, it was very easily able to identify the solution for it. It was able to identify even which key I'm holding on my keyboard, which was amazing. But overall, this is almost close to magic now. Like these are things that you would see in movies, but it's actually working really well. And it was insane how accurate and how it didn't basically load for two seconds. Like it was instantly ready to come up with answers. And I'm very interested to see if in another session, I show it the same puzzle that it couldn't solve, if it will remember how to answer it. I was also very impressed by it being able to answer what these paintings are. Like I did not expect it at all to be able to do that, but it did that really well. And so thanks so much for watching. I hope you were as interested as I am with this and as excited as you are and maybe not scared because it's actually the technology is growing really quickly. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next episodes. I'm looking forward to make more experiments like this. Thank you.